Welcome. This is the second lecture in the marketing module of Building a Winning Plan. It talks about how one goes about putting together and doing the marketing and the marketing analysis that you need to do in order to build your mark in, in order to build the marketing elements that are included as you build your business and that you represent in your business plan. The first though, we want to talk briefly about creating, identifying, finding a market need. Turns out successful products and businesses are built upon, research has identified that it's not pushing a product or coming up with something new and different. It's identifying a customer need, something that customers need to have solved for them, something that they want to do to improve their life or their utility, how they experience things, what they eat, how they, um, how they live their lives, their lifestyle, some problem they see, things aren't as good as they'd like, and then fixing it, a real need in the marketplace. Finding that need is the key, and supporting it with a product is also the key. Not creating a product because it's cool, but developing something that supports customers. That's the real need. That's what we look to do in a business. When somebody has a problem with their car, they need it to be fixed. A problem with their house, they need it to be fixed. A problem with their career, they need it to be fixed. A problem with their PC, their technology, they need it to be fixed. That's the key, the main driver, finding the problem, the customer need. There is another element to it. And that is creating new market space entirely, identifying a new need. It's still a customer need, but it's identifying a new need that customers were solving in a certain way, but you've reframed it in a sense. So they still have the need and they want a solution. You're providing a solution with a new and different framing than they had before. I'm not going to go into detail on this creating customer or new market space, but I'll refer you to an article by Kim and Morboyn, Creating New Market Space, which was in the Harvard Business Review in January, February of 1999. An excellent article that talks about six different ways that one builds new market space or creates new market space. Um, it's uh, listed in the syllabus and it is an excellent article which we'll talk about quite a bit more as we go forward in, in this course. But for now, let's talk about the market need itself and go into a little bit more detail about what is called the value proposition. The value proposition is one of the most important concepts in business because what the value proposition really gets at is what is causing the decision by the customer to give you money because they think you are solving their problem or supporting their need. Why does your product deserve to exist? What causes that trigger that starts the chain of someone taking something that is theirs and giving it to you because they think they're getting something in return? That's the top line. That's what says you have something of value. You have created something of value. Your description of that is your value proposition. But in addition, you are selling them something they're willing to give you a dollar but it only costs you less than that, say 50 cents, in order to deliver it because you are making a profit. So the magic here, the secret sauce, is that you are getting someone to give you a dollar and you're assembling stuff that costs you 50 cents and they are giving you a dollar for what's effectively the 50 cents. And that difference is the profit. It's how you put it together, how you frame it, how you've managed to take some part of some things, pieces and put them together like into a hamburger in a McDonald's and then sell it for more than all those components are worth because of bringing them all together, how it's done, what the recipe is, the secret sauce, if you will. That's how you create the value that becomes a profit. And of course, profit is what drives a business. Without it, it makes no sense. Profit is what you're trying to get. The difference between what they're willing to pay because you're solving their problem and what it costs you to solve that problem is the secret sauce, it is the problem, and it is the value proposition. It is what allows business to exist. And that is why it is such an important concept. All business, not just entrepreneurship, but everything in business starts with this notion of the value proposition. In the next lecture in this module, the marketing module, we'll talk about the marketing concept, market orientation. 
and how you take this idea of value proposition and customer need and you think about how you build an organization, a framework, a, com a company so that you can use market knowledge, market information, market touches to, to solve somebody's problem with a product or service people are willing to pay for and that you create value for all parties with. That'll be the next lecture on the marketing concept. We'll see you at that lecture.